Hello my friends and YouTube, Clarissa here. I am back with another video. I want to say thank you. I want to let you know that I appreciate your comments uh, on my birthday video. Thank you very much. I take it to heart all uh, your loving comments. Thank you for sending your love and God bless each one of you. Thank you so much. And this video, uh, it's going to be about a review of uh, two products that I have been using on and off uh, and I like the results and so I want to uh, be able to share it with you. But before uh, we start the video with the review, um, also this video is about um, how the uh, YouTube community, uh, the small YouTubers are being affected uh, but uh, uh, the big youtubers uh, and let me explain you a uh, uh, with detail uh, I, I think all of you know about the scandal of uh, Tati uh, Westbrook and James Charles um, a scandal that um, Tati had started it making a video about uh, James Charles. I am not going to go into the story in full detail, but the way it started it is that uh, she made a video and um, made a video uh, because uh, this uh, kid, because the kid, James Charles, uh, decided to uh, advertise uh, somebody else's company, her product and uh, her vitamins and uh, uh, Tati has also um, a hair vitamin product that she sells and so uh, she felt betrayed um, because uh, this kid was advertising uh, somebody else's uh, hair uh, vitamin product but what indicates uh, after finding out the truth is that uh, James uh, Charles had uh, advertised her product as well in the past. So um, my friends, uh, I want you to understand that uh, the purpose of this video is to make uh, the viewer realize what's happening in a YouTube community. and. Um, so this scandal happened because uh, you know someone initiated with a video slandering uh, someone in this case uh, slandering to this kid James uh, Charles and um, so James Charles uh, had put a video in response uh, with all uh, the proof of receipts from uh, Twitter, Instagram, um, uh, I believe uh, Facebook and other social medias uh, with detail uh, telling what really happened. Uh, he had enough proof to uh, say or indicate that Tati uh, was not telling the truth. So uh, what I'm trying to say here is that um, these big YouTubers are entitled to uh, put a uh, videos on um, in this case you know Tati is slandering this kid and um, a video with a slander a video that has advertising that allows her to make money and um, so I am going to say that a few years ago um, I had an incident with um, with my videos, uh, this lady had complained to YouTube. I just simple and honestly, I put uh, a couple of videos uh, about uh, facial workouts, which was just telling the viewer uh, to be careful when it comes to facial workouts that the person uh, who is teaching should have studies of anatomy in order to teach because if uh, the teaching is wrong 
uh, you could damage your facial muscles. And so I was just giving a warning to the viewers without mentioning no names and no slandering anyone. So um, this lady that also teaches um, uh, facial workouts, uh, just a fanatic that teaches uh, facial workouts, she uh, later found out she has now gone to college for uh, any type of studies or anything. So uh, she took it personal personally she thought I was talking about her so she complained to YouTube and uh, they suspend uh, my um, views so people couldn't watch in some parts of Europe so they suspended my my views so people couldn't watch it and those particular videos and uh, even though it was no slander and it was I was not referring to her I had I had no idea that uh, you know she she was gonna do that, and uh, because it wasn't against no one my video, and so uh, they suspend my views in some areas in Europe, and uh, then I didn't have the chance to appeal. Uh, they took her word, and uh, and. I was left in an air because I was not able to appeal and still that is no fix. Still those videos have, um, some parts in Europe have no access to watch my videos. And so here it is a woman uh, doing a video that uh, is slandering someone and uh, using a uh, you know, vulgar vocabulary. Her video is not suspended. Um, her video uh, is making money with the advertising. But later, um, you know, after uh, James Charles comes up with a response um, to Tati, come out with another video uh, with the response uh, of whatever he had to say. And, uh, she realized that the kid has all these proofs and receipts. Then she decided to remove the video, but she waited it un until I think the 22nd or the 21st to remove the video. She waited until she gets paid because YouTube gets, uh, YouTube gets ready to pay everyone on the 20. So she waited until the 21st or 22nd uh, to remove the video uh, after she had collected all, all the money. And my question is why YouTube did that to me? My, my views were suspended in those videos and why they didn't take the same action with her? And, uh, and it's not just happening with me because a lot of smaller YouTubers are experiencing the same thing. You know, I see uh, a woman saying, oh, my, my video is demonetized because I made this video sh uh, showing um, my surgery, um, what they call it, um, mommy makeover. I was showing my abdomen uh, right after surgery and uh, it's not allowed. Uh, I, I guess the regulations of you two is not allowed. So they demonetize her video and other cases too. So the regulations are, it looks and it appears it's for certain people um, it's being those regulations are being applied for certain people in YouTube, for certain YouTubers, but not to all of them. When it comes, especially to bigger YouTubers, and uh, the thing is that uh, YouTube needs to really control of how many, how much money it's making a YouTuber. It does not 
sound right or correct or, or fair that uh, a YouTuber is making uh, money to the point that eventually they become uh, millionaires. Uh, so it should be some kind of a control, a, a limitation of how much money a YouTuber uh, could make. So that way everybody can make um, money. Uh, everybody will have the opportunity to make uh, even money, you know, equal amounts of money. And uh, so uh, I just heard that um, there are videos I guess call the the game player videos like ninja uh, player videos and other um, game players uh, videos uh, that they make uh, about uh, let's see here a uh, fifty dollars to seventy dollars an hour. The same thing goes with the bigger YouTubers like Tati. Uh, James Charles, uh, um, Jeffrey Stark, and other that are having millions of uh, subscribers. So uh, 10 million subscribers, uh, 14 million subscribers, 15 million subscribers. Um, like James Charles right now has 15 million subscribers, which is uh, the highest in the whole world. Uh, world not just in the United States and so uh, that also should have some kind of a limit because they should allow the smaller youtubers to also make decent money because a lot of them they are uh, making uh, YouTube videos with the purpose of you know quitting their job and just make profit as the big youtubers because those big YouTubers, uh, they don't go out there and work. And, and they are very comfortable buying mansions of homes. And so I just think it's not fair. It's, it, it's just very unjust. And uh, so like I said, YouTube should have some kind of a system to control the views uh, if the views uh, gets too large or of the subscribers get too large then should have some kind of a control and all, everybody will enjoy making money everybody sh should um, be satisfied and and making videos and uh, in 2012 uh, YouTube started it well it was uh, 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 social media for family uh, for um, for collaboration videos uh, was for uh, fun. Uh, it, it, it was different. Now it's just uh, probably a 5% of uh, YouTubers, which are the big YouTubers, and they are becoming millionaires and making large amounts of money while the little YouTubers, you know, struggle every time they make a video because they don't they don't reach uh, the amount of uh, viewers and subscribers uh, and the amount of viewers and subscribers that they wish to have to make decent money and so um, I think uh, something needs to be done uh, because uh, it is very incorrect uh, very very bad that this is happening and uh, the social media of YouTube and other social medias it should be for friendship that's the way uh, YouTube started it for friendship it started it for collaboration it started it for sharing sharing videos with one another and uh, that is not happening anymore what is happening is uh, you know giving this sponsorships to big youtubers um, besides um, you know making money out of the viewers and out of uh, the subscribers uh, you know companies are uh, contacting them uh, and to get paid uh, for um, 
sponsor a, a product so they make money from left to right and so they the companies don't contact smaller uh, youtubers because uh, they they say to you okay you wanna do a video and sponsor our products and we will pay you according to um, pay you according to how many uh, viewers you have that that is wrong you pay according the, to the effort that you take to do the video according to the time you take to edit that takes about three hours to edit and the filming and the, and the quality of the video it shouldn't be to pay you according to the views if you have little views they're gonna pay you what uh, a couple of hundred dollars uh, you know comparing to ten thousand dollars or five thousand dollars and so um, well this is what I needed to share with you guys because it wasn't my chest it was a heavy uh, in my chest and I needed just to release it and let you know what's going on and uh, just let me know in the description uh, excuse me in the comment uh, section what you think my friends I forgot to mention also before I continue with the review of products that uh, 12 of my videos have been demonetized my videos are educational teaching there's nothing uh you know offensive uh to the viewer and uh 12 of those videos have been uh demonetized uh for example one of them is uh retin-a that i talk about the side effects uh of course uh that i'm not saying uh, not to use retin-a because myself i use it but i was uh, explaining the cautions how to use it uh, otherwise you know uh, you're going to deal with the side effects another video is about Botox the dangers of Botox and, and the title was about uh, why I don't use Botox and immediately got demonetized but if I had say why I use Botox uh, probably it was not a problem so uh you know I, I just once again i wanted to get it out of my chest and hopefully you don't mind okay so we're gonna continue with the review my friends let's start with the review and um hopefully you guys um didn't take it wrong but I needed to explain this of what's going on and what is the truth um, in the YouTube community okay so uh, I do have um, let's see here I do have this product right here um, it's from the company essentials and this is a uh, hundred percent natural organic tamano tamano uh, oil T A M a N U and this oil is excellent for mature skin it, it is very good for pigmentation of the skin and it helps to uh, regenerate uh, mature skin a very uh, good oil that gives you the lipids um, to prevent uh, the skin from becoming thinning uh, uh, and thinner and deflated so um, this oil um, it is kind of thick but very very hydrating uh, it, it's almost like a um, occlusive uh, consistency uh, keeping hydrated the skin to uh, avoid uh, the um, the water escaping from your know, skin layers so it's uh, very good for the hair as well for the hair that has been treated with bleach and other um, chemicals it helps to repair uh, the hair shaft of uh, the hair uh, a very nice oil I have almost let's see I had used it half of the bottle already and uh, I love it because of the properties of being occlusive uh, the properties of um, treating a uh, pigmentation and uh, regenerating uh, the uh, top layer of, of your skin 
So uh, the company name is Essentials and um, the only product that I want to share with you it is by Gliss Company, Step Clean. Uh, this is a pore purifying um, a mask and um, this uh, container has, let me show you the box, and the container uh, has like two channels here. This product helps uh, to exfoliate the skin. So like I said, uh, there is here this uh, chamber with two formulas. You push it down, so uh, you mix it together with the palms of your hand and then the activating uh, exfoliated um, enzymes uh, will be in the formulas to help exfoliate the skin and stimulate collagen. And also this product has uh, linolenic acid and linolenic acid, which are lipids. And uh, I concentrate very much in lipids uh, because mature skin uh, starts producing less lipids as we get older and the skin becomes more deflated. So when you push it down, the two formulas come together and uh, this has uh, CoQ10, it has resveratrol, um, this also um, has salicylic acid to help clean the pores and uh, help stimulate collagen. Hope you like the video and don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up for this little video and uh, make sure you share my videos and share this information because the YouTube community needs to be aware of what is happening. And so uh, I will see you in my next video. You stay gorgeous, you stay healthy, and uh, most of all, uh, loving uh, one another. Okay, ciao, bye-bye.